Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Let's jump out to Boston, Massachusetts and find the incredible genius of music, Mr. John Kellogg Esquire, assistant director of the Berkeley School of Music, one of the greatest schools of music in the entire world. John, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, Doc Wright. How are you? Hey, things are rolling, man. Hanging in. You like that Millie Jackson cut I played a little bit earlier, huh? Oh, yeah, that was real funky. I really liked that. That was great. Hey, what's happening in the world of music? Well, I'm, I'm hanging in here. I'm at the Foxwoods Casino today for the Community Auditions, which is a, a American Idol-like program uh, in the Northeast region, particularly in the New England region. They're having their finals here today, so I'm here viewing that, and uh, I'm having a great time, and I'm glad to speak with you, Doc, and the 106.9 family. Here's your biz report for this week, a report on the business behind the music, because everybody knows somebody in the music business. Well, Doc, it's Grammy nomination time, and the nominees for the 2010 Grammy Awards were announced on Thursday. And here's the scoop. R&B music fell, fared very well this year as Beyonce received 10 nominations, and Maxwell, the Black Eyed Peas, and Kanye West each received six nominations. Beyonce's album, I Am Sasha Fierce, is in the running for Album of the Year. Both Beyonce's Single Ladies and Maxwell's Pretty Wings buy for the prize in the Song of the Year category. And newcomer Carrie Hilson is nominated as New Artist of the Year. The Best R&B Performance by a Duo or Group category includes nominees Jamie Foxx and T-Pain for the single Blame It. That category also includes Indy Ari and Music for Chocolate High and Music and Mary J. Blige for their recording of the song If You Leave. And one of my favorites, Jasmine Sullivan, is nominated for the Best Female R&B Vocal Performance category with her song Lions and Tigers and Bears. And lastly, Doc, in the Best Male R&B Vocal Performance category, the battle includes nominee Charlie Wilson. That's right, Uncle Charlie oh, for his Uncle Charlie. great single, There Goes My Baby. Yes, you like that, huh? I love it. Outstanding. <laughs> Uncle Charlie is also nominated in the category Best R&B Album with his album by the same name. And in the Best Contemporary R&B Album category, I believe Jamie Foxx stands a good chance with his Intuition album. Well, we'll find out the results on the 51st Annual Grammy Awards Ceremony on January 31st, 2010 on CBS. And I'll be there to give you a complete report only here on the Old School Sundays with your good doctor in mind, Rick Wright. Well, John, you are living an incredible life, man. The new decade of yesteryear. Oh, wow, here in Syracuse. God bless you, John Kellogg, and all that you do. You don't, don't you hurt nobody now out there, okay? Oh, you, you've got to talk to you in a couple of weeks. Peace. Okay, John Kellogg, check it in, man. I'm telling you, he's living a life, ain't he? All right, as we get to all the Syracuse University alums throughout the world, checking out Dr. Rick Ray, Power 106.9, Old School Sunday. On a big bad Sunday afternoon, Dr. Rick Wright, live and well in Syracuse here at Power 106.9 Radio. Do it. The network reminds you that you too may call into Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315-428-1069. Don't forget the doc.